What's up and welcome back. Hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to be reviewing upcoming DLC for Red Dead Online. I'm Bandit Barney bringing you everything you need to know about Red Dead 2 and Red Dead Online. And we're going to do something special today because we're going to dive into memes around Red Dead 2 and Red Dead Online and just picking these memes out. There's some funny stuff out there. We haven't done one of these yet. It's a video that I've kind of wanted to dive into and with that being said let's dive into it with our first meme which is one that refers to Thanos Thanos I can't believe I said it like that yelling at uncle for being too lazy then sleeping for three days straight for no reason perfectly balanced as all things should be <laughs> so this is so funny because there's been so many times especially creating content with Red Dead 2 that like I'm be in story mode and just sleep for days and days to get days to pass so I can try and get a new interaction with someone or something like that and there's so many voice lines in this game like I can only imagine all the voice actors going in and having an entire page of just things that they're yelling at uncle for being so lazy for <laughs> I really enjoyed this one for our second one Oh, this is the, the girl you want to be with and her boyfriend meme. The girl you like, her dad, Dutch. <laughs> That's a bad dad. I don't know how you get raised right if your dad's Dutch. Arthur, her brother, her ex, John Marston, her boyfriend, and then you. And this guy is just like wide-eyed, just staring like, no chance, bro. No chance. Sorry, I got to break it to you. There's no chance there. To our piece of content regarding the title. <laughs> Long term, I believe there's going to be a good future for Red Dead Online, and uh, it's just going to take a long time because right now I don't think that it's something Rockstar is prioritizing, you know? This meme encapsulates perfectly what we can expect later on. Vladimir Putin riding a horse with a tank cannon strapped to his waist. Red Dead Redemption 2 after four years with all the released DLCs. <laughs> You can only imagine what, what Rockstar is going to come up with in the future, man. <laughs> then there's this one, which is so funny and true. Snake oil in real life back in the day was just a con man medicine, like a medicine that actually did nothing that doctors would peddle because it was like a new thing or con men would peddle because they knew it didn't do nothing, but they could claim that it would do so many things for you. No medical value back in the day. Snake oil in Red Dead 2 literally gives superpowers slow down time and hit headshots <laughs> oh oh this one resonates with me very well actually so if any of you have been to costco which probably a lot of you had and you get the samples and you just want a little bit more arthur going back to costco lady for to get more free samples <laughs> different jackets different clothes different cut on the on the face oh you could you wouldn't even have to purchase you wouldn't even have to buy meals anymore you could just go to costco literally just walk down the aisle throw on a different outfit real quick go back and get some more samples hit every stand although sometimes you get some sample stands that you just you're just not feeling you're just not feeling it this meme is so true about leopold strauss by the way the, leopold <laughs> Poor people. <laughs> Leopold in the game, literally, he 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 doesn't care. He's strictly about money. And when when he's asked, like, don't you feel bad for these people? He's like, they shouldn't have made a deal. They shouldn't have made a deal that they'd owe me money. They made a bad financial deal. He's he's like the uh like what's the Christmas dude who steals Christmas? I've been to this play like five times. Scrooge! Scrooge, he's like Scrooge. Leopold's the Scrooge, and he's also Spoiler, why Arthur ends up with tuberculosis. Leopold killed Arthur. Leopold killed Arthur. Confirmed. Confirmed. This is when the game first came out. And the Pope was just raising up Red Dead 2 as we all were. Because the game was so good. The story was so good. You couldn't think of anything else. This is a combination of memes right here. This is one week after Red Dead 2 being released. Nothing else mattered. One week of Red Dead 2 being released. And then this is three months after Red Dead 2 being released. Oh, how the times change. How the times change. We'll come back to you soon. Oh, this one hit. This one hit home for me. You, we've all been in that position where we're just riding our horse, right? And sometimes you're hiding up over Manzanita Post. Or uh, hunting up over Manzanita Post. And you're riding through all those trees. And you're just on a bad day. And you're not really paying attention. And you literally ride your horse into every tree. 
We always blame the horse. We always blame the horse. This is probably how your horse feels though. Every time that happens, I blame the horse. You know why I blame the horse? It's because I have a good reason for why I blame the horse. It's because the game is like has an auto avoid tree thing, so it'll help you avoid trees. But sometimes I want to make a cut or go through the trees a certain way, and that auto thing ha makes me hit a tree. So can we just get rid of that? I don't want to be assisted when I'm riding my horse. I'm a veteran. I've ridden this horse around the entire world of Red Dead Online multiple times. I'm a vet out here at riding these horses, okay? Most of us are. Can we get this auto assist off? I wish there was a setting to turn that off. Let's petition Rockstar. Rockstar, give us the setting. What? What are they saying out there? Those idiots. They will get what we give them and they will love it. You have some dynamite arrow. Speaking of dynamite arrows. Rockstar, hey, you guys want to see what content we got for you? Ha! Oh, big bull and nothing. See, though, they ruined this meme, though. I think they ruined this meme because they pulled... You You can clearly see that the table's in the top picture. The table's not in the bottom picture. They just cut out the table. In actuality, there was something on that table, dude. And they cut it out. And they ruined the meme. They ruined the meme for doing that. I'm no memester, okay? I have not ever created a meme. I've shared a few, but I am no memester. But I know this is a ruined meme. This is a ruined meme. Spending my time in Red Dead Online beta, fishing, taking pictures of myself, camping, looking for updates. <laughs> I'm just looking out the window with the rain on it. <laughs> it's a sad, grim outlook. I, I have that feeling sometimes. You wake up, it's raining outside, you're just like, ah. Even if you, even if you're gonna be working all day, and you work inside, oh the rain. This one cracked me up. This one cracked me up. <laughs> Red Dead Online posses really do look this butched. I'm telling you guys, Red Dead Online posses look butched. Cause we're, hey, we all went into character creation thinking we we're gonna create a cool character. None of us went in there. Well, I mean, a few of us went in there and tried to butcher a character, but we all went in there trying to create something. And you create it, and then you look, and you see it. It looks all good. And as soon as you see the first cutscene, and you see your character in a different light, you're like, "Oh man, I made my chin, my nose, my ear, whatever. I made it way too big, too small, whatever, right?" The and posses end up looking like this, <laughs> especially when I take when I make my character without the shirt on. When I wear my character without the shirt on, I feel like one of these guys in a posse. <laughs> this is bad man this is bad there really are some characters out there that look like this though we all we all know we all know we all know so true when someone says red dead online sucks you're like eh. yeah some truth to that gta 5 is better mm, maybe maybe you know you you have your opinion i have mine arthur morgan's a b oh no them's fighting words them's is fighting words mother them's is fighting words boy Put your fists up. Yeah, you better watch your mouth. You better watch your mouth. It's like he's talking to a kid. You better watch your mouth. When do you ever say that to an adult and that works? You cannot say to an adult, you better watch your mouth and have any sort of response besides one that is like, F off. I'm an adult. <laughs> then there's just pudding on the cake. Pudding on the pudding. You gotta, is that, a, is that a pudding cake? Is that a cake with pudding on it? Okay, that is not how, what that saying is. Then there's the frosting on the cake, which is ju Dutch just sitting back with his cigar. Faith, you gotta have it. You gotta have it. Faith. Oh, it just reminds me back when we made that video about how Red Rockstar is Dutch Vanderlyn <laughs> and how ironic that was. Faith, you gotta have some of it, man. Cause if you don't, you're gonna go play other games. And you can't do that. Don't, don't you dare do that. Well, on that note, guys, I hope you're keeping some faith for Red Dead Online. Um, appreciate all y'all stopping by and you, we're still growing in subs somehow. I don't know, not, people are leaving Red Dead Online, but they're joining our channel, so thank you for that. Um, if you have any good memes, Join our Discord. We have a meme channel for that. I love sifting through some of them. Occasionally, they get me to laugh really hard. So thank you. Thank you for that. And until next time, 
We'll catch you later.